Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all your support so far, for all your comments, likes and subscribes. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome. So, um, this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, for September 2020, take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm using my new ethereal visions deck with these beautiful cards with the gold on them so I hope you enjoy these for today's reading okay so cancer for September Okay, Cancer, this feels like quite a strong message for you. Um, we've got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, person that might be on your mind. Yeah, you're kind of like stuck on this person, I'm getting. You haven't been able to let go of them. Or they're in your life at the moment. For some of you, you are just very sort of emotional at the moment. Um, there's someone coming through on your mind for some of you. Okay, um, to read the signs we've got Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The main ones, quite a lot of... Um, water as well, so your energy. I feel there's someone on your mind and they're also, you're also on their mind. <laughs> um, notice this card here, this person's like really reflecting the moment on what they lost. Uh, really thinking at the moment and they want to take that leap of faith towards you. For others of you, the message that's coming through is some of you are just going to start afresh. And you might be thinking about a job that you've been offered or you might be offered that quite soon. So change coming. I'm certainly seeing happiness coming through for you, the Nine of Cups. You're definitely going to have finances improve, um, inheritance or a job as I said. But there might also in your personal life be some people that you cut out of your life. Um, sort of some backstabbing. These two cards are really similar. So, you know, I, I read them intuitively. Um, a lot of kind of like moping around, thinking about the past. Okay, is what I'm getting. For this is your energy, but I, I do get some mirroring here. So some of you, this could be a very strong twin flame connection. And for some of you, this is the other person. It's a bit complex, but the other person is cutting someone out of their life. And they then start reminiscing about you. Yeah, they start reminiscing about the connection with you, soulmate connection very strong here. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Now, okay, this deck has an extra two cards and one of them came out. So that's, I see that as quite positive when that happens because it's quite special. And this one's called The Artist. So like um, a visionary, this person is, with these three, it's like they start reminiscing 
and they start visualising what they want and that connection with you. So either they're in your life or they've been in your life. They might also be an artist, talented person, very creative, if not drawing then some sort of art form that's what's coming through there I often see that card in that way actually yeah very gifted person okay let's clarify the cards so the fall right so some of you there is someone checking you out online um, these two pages sort of like an immature energy um, there might have been some breadcrumbing if this person was in your past but they're, they're they haven't let go they're still checking you out you might also be with them checking them out online yeah social media you might this person might reach out and communicate with you online. Okay, so this Nine of Cups is a result of moving on to something more fulfilling. So you might be moving on to a new job, as I said. You've got a few options. There might be someone at a distance from you who's an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Um, I'm certainly getting travel coming through. Some of you, because of what's happened in your past, if this person communicates, because we've got air energy twice, you might be quite cold with them and not want to let them in. But it's kind of what you want as well. It's quite a a mixed energy I'm feeling with that two of pentacles you're like up and down about how you feel yeah so five of swords we got another five so two fives definite change coming in your life someone is left out of the cold here um so either you are, are going to walk away from this person, you're not going to let them in with that Queen of Swords. Um, or that's how you're left to feel. Let's get another card on that. Might be someone you know through work. You are going to try and work things out. With this person, um, one of the one of them, sorry, I can't speak today. <laughs> one of you wants to commit, um, but I do feel someone walks away. It can also be that person, as I said, what I was getting before, walks away from their spouse, uh, fiance, whoever it is earth sign, earth energy yeah so yeah I get the person there I think is the one that walks away from a situation and they go through a transformation and that really what happens when we go through that sort of awakening transformation is we then look at what we lost and they start to reminisce about you, is what I'm getting here. They're, it's like really brought up in, in their face. Something happens that triggers them and they realise you were the one, but they might have to travel to you. Quite a distance, might be over water, different country. Could be a Scorpio. Okay, how about this artist? So they could be, um, yeah, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this could be you as well. Um, 
who this it's quite interesting what I'm seeing here is the artist visualizing his future which is you that's quite a clear message there you're this loving person who they realize they should never have let go of yeah Leo energy they're building up the courage to come back to you Yeah, and and the two of cups we've got the page of wands so a lot of pages um three pages so new beginning and messages coming through passionate message uh fire energy aries leo sagittarius this person's really determined i'm hearing to come in and like conquer you. Wow, another page. This is so many pages here, Cancer, it's amazing. Um, so it could be an age gap, but there's definitely a new beginning and messages, loads of messages coming through, lots of communication. I'm feeling here. This person definitely walks away from someone because that's a repeat card. So when we get repeat cards, it's really accentuating that message. Someone walks away from a situation. They decide, here's another repeat card. They decide what they want, who they want to commit to. A lot of reminiscing and then we've got for you long-term stability ten of pentacles that's amazing so this person sees this future with you you're in the you're their future they're seeing like a family a dog they're very loyal you know home um, and that's interesting with this card like as I said he's visualizing his future and that's what he visualizes that's really this is really amazing cancer this energy here feels just really special i can feel it in my heart chakra so you're going to know okay if this is the right person and we've got the the king and queen of cups so good connection Okay, any other card? I don't think we need any other cards, but anything else? Yeah, that, I mean, that flipped out here with the six, the five. So the person cuts someone out and moves on from a, a, a difficult situation to a calmer place. That's quite clear. A lot of queens in this reading as well. So there's definitely another energy in the mix with you or the other person, okay? Take what resonates. But I'm I'm really seeing, you know, with these with the two of cups, ten of pentacles, that's an amazing uh future ahead for you. Okay, let's get some Whispers of Love Oracle cards to finish. These were gifted by Manor, so thank you very much for these. Really beautiful cards as well. Oh wow. <laughs> These all flew out on the on the floor but a bit too many. Spirit really wants to say something here. <laughs> uh, like um, this is the energy I'm getting 
from the other person. They're quite um, excited to come towards you. Okay. Now you might have noticed this card flew out over there. So spirit is really, you know, often spirit does that for me. It tells me where it, it's related to. So this situation with that person who's walking away from a situation, we got the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Yeah. So you might have been looking at them on social media, seeing that they're with someone, they look really happy, but that's not the full picture. Um, there's more going on there and clearly someone's going to walk away from that situation. There might be a child involved though, so that's why it might be a bit complex for them. Um, yeah, there's lots of things you can't see about that situation. Change is coming, I'm getting round, uh, for some of you in November and for some of you next spring, okay? Maybe you're all on different timelines. It's also master number 22, so, um, you know, strong connection there, spiritual connection. And we've also got love who you are. So some of you really just need to focus on yourself. Um, knowing you deserve, you know, what life has to offer. Blessings are coming in for you. Some of you might travel and move on. Um, you've been through quite a, a difficult time. This kind of reminds me of the Six of Cups here. So this might have been for you as well. Moving on from that difficult time. There might have been some deception in your past you need to heal from. Um, yeah, do things you love, okay? But if you're focusing on someone else, like that soulmate person, turn it around and focus it on you primar primarily, okay? There's definitely someone on your mind I'm, I'm feeling here. Okay, Cancer, um, so I hope this has resonated. Please do comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from some more of you. Wishing you all peace, love and light on your journeys. And I'll see you again soon.